Step into the technicolor world of a beloved classic where a tornado whisks away a young girl to a magical land. The Wizard of Oz, a 1939 film adaptation, continues to captivate audiences with its enduring charm and iconic characters. This timeless movie isn't just a journey down the yellow brick road. It's a symbol of resilience, friendship, and the power of believing in oneself. Out of the myriad of roles in this cinematic gem, which character stands out as your favorite? The Scarecrow, the Cowardly Lion, or perhaps the Wicked Witch of the West. Each holds a unique appeal, contributing to the film's lasting legacy. What makes this movie an enduring symbol in the film industry? Its blend of fantastical storytelling, memorable musical numbers, and universal themes of self-discovery and home resonate across generations. Beyond its initial release, it remains a cultural touchstone, transcending time and trends. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this cinematic treasure? Share your stories and memories below. We're eager to hear your nostalgic recollections of moments spent in the company of Dorothy and her companions. Let's keep the magic alive by reliving the enchantment of this cinematic wonder and shared experiences and cherished memories. Join the conversation below and let the nostalgia flow. During the making of the film, a coat chosen for Frank Morgan, who played Professor Marvel and the Wizard, turned out to have a surprising past. The wardrobe department sought a shabby yet dignified coat and found one in a second-hand store. Unbeknownst to them, it had belonged to L. Frank Bao, the author of the original Wizard of Oz books. It was later confirmed and gifted to Baum's widow after filming wrapped up. This unexpected link between the film and the original author added a special touch to the production's history. MGM secured the film rights to L. Frank Baum's book for a hefty $75,000, a substantial sum in its time. This financial commitment underscored the studio's confidence in bringing The Wizard of Oz to the silver screen. The 1939 production, known for its iconic scenes, also featured a unique method for the Surrender Dorothy skywriting moment. Using a water tank, a miniature witch attached to a hypodermic needle, and milk, the filmmakers crafted the unforgettable scene with an initially included ominous phrase, dot 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 or die, later removed before the movie's premiere. Over three decades after the film's release, Margaret Hamilton, who portrayed the Wicked Witch, shared her insightful perspective during an interview with Fred Rogers. Hamilton revealed a nuanced portrayal depicting the witch as a character who relished her actions, but lived a lonely, frustrating existence, providing a depth to the iconic antagonist. In a memorable twist, Hamilton donned the original witch costume, emphasizing the make-believe nature of the witches and reassuring children not to fear them. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the making of The Wizard of Oz offer a richer understanding of the film's history and enduring impact, from significant financial investments to creative methods and bringing fantasy to life on screen. The iconic movie from 1939 left a lasting mark not only for its memorable scenes, but also for the unique behind-the-scenes efforts. The extreme makeup demands led MGM to enlist help from unexpected quarters, studio mail room, and courier service. To cope with prosthetic requirements, makeup artists were trained in specific areas, forming an assembly line for the Oz extras each morning. Among the movie's famous lines, it'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too holds a place in the American Film Institute's top 100 movie quotes, ranking at 99. It's a testament to the enduring impact of the film's dialogues. On a more somber note, the green-shirted member of the Lollipop Guild, known for a brief but iconic scene, became the last surviving Munchkin actor until his passing in 2018, outliving his co-stars. These lesser-known details shed light on the meticulous efforts behind the scenes and the unexpected impacts the film had on the lives of those involved. From makeshift makeup stations to unexpected post-filming fame, the 1939 Wizard of Oz continues to be a fascinating subject. In contrast to common belief, the 1939 film initially found success not only in the US, but also globally. During its first release in Great Britain, Scandinavia, Mexico, Brazil, and Australia, it garnered exceptional returns, disproving the notion of a box office failure. Despite modest performance in the US, the movie gained considerable traction across international markets. Amidst the notable scenes, an unexpected incident occurred during the filming of The Wicked Witch's departure from Munchkinland. 
In the first take, premature smoke surrounded her, revealing an early burst of fire. The second attempt led to an unfortunate mishap involving Margaret Hamilton, who portrayed the witch. Her cape got entangled in the platform, resulting in severe burns on her hands and face. The makeup, containing copper as a key component, exacerbated the situation. Surprisingly, the producers opted to use the flawed first take, showcasing the unintended early appearance of red smoke. Judy Garland, cast as Dorothy, faced unique challenges during production. Juggling her role with schooling, she could only dedicate four hours on set each day. The film accommodated her limited availability, with three of those hours dedicated to her education while not in front of the camera. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the 1939 Wizard of Oz unveil a complex narrative of international success, unforeseen accidents, and the careful coordination of filming around a young star's academic commitments. The film's journey is marked by more than iconic scenes, with each detail contributing to its enduring legacy. Margaret Hamilton, the actress behind The Wicked Witch of the West, faced challenges during the filming of The Wizard of Oz. Known for her love of animals, she was hesitant to shoot scenes involving harm to Toto. This reluctance extended to a pivotal moment where, as the Wicked Witch, she ordered Toto to be drowned over the ruby slippers. Hamilton, like Judy Garland, shared a bond with the canine actor. In a surprising twist, the House of Winston crafted real ruby slippers to mark the film's 50th anniversary in 1989, valuing them at an impressive $3 million. These iconic shoes, synonymous with Dorothy's journey, added a touch of luxury to the movie's legacy. Meanwhile, a small detail in Professor Marvel's wagon, listing balloon exhibitionist among his talents, adds a quirky layer to the film. These behind-the-scenes insights reveal the human connections and unique commemorations that continue to enrich the enduring charm of The Wizard of Oz. In a surprising revelation about the 1939 classic, The Wizard of Oz, an interesting detail about Frank Morgan, who portrayed Professor Marvel, and The Wizard comes to light. Despite the film's success, Morgan, known for his affable demeanor, had a hidden struggle with alcohol. His heavy drinking habits were discreetly managed, often involving hidden liquor in his dressing room. Remarkably, his professionalism never wavered, except for a notable instance during the Oz Dart House sequence. Witnesses recall an atypical display of inebriation, with Morgan almost toppling over if not for the Guard House. In a rare departure from his usual friendly self, he even entertained with a ribald song. This incident adds a nuanced layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of The Wizard of Oz, showcasing the complexities faced by the actors during production. As the Technicolor curtain falls on this whimsical journey through the enchanting realms of a certain cinematic classic, we find ourselves tethered to an era where dreams met reality on the yellow brick road of imagination. Your voyage alongside Dorothy and her peculiar companions might be drawing to a close, but the magic of this timeless tale, woven into the fabric of cultural history, is destined to linger in the echoes of your memory. Reflect, if you will, on the kaleidoscope of emotions painted across the screen, courage, heart, and a yearning for home. Like the characters you've come to know and love, perhaps you, too, have navigated your own trials and tribulations, drawing strength from unlikely places, and discovering the technicolor brilliance within your own narrative. The Wizard of Oz isn't merely a film, it's a mirror reflecting the human experience, a canvas upon which we project our hopes, fears, and the indomitable spirit to defy the odds. Now, as you stand at the intersection of reality and fantasy, we invite you to share the hues of your personal odyssey inspired by this cinematic masterpiece. What melodies of memory does the mention of Oz evoke within you? Are there anecdotes, lessons, or quirks that resonate in your heart like the melody of Somewhere Over the Rainbow? The comments section is your canvas, your chance to contribute a stroke to the collective artwork that is our shared affection for this tale of wonder. Thank you for joining us on this expedition down the yellow brick road, where every step is a memory and every scene a chapter etched into the book of our lives. Your thoughts and reflections are the sparkles in the ruby slippers of our community, binding us in the enchantment of shared experience. Until we meet again in the realms of nostalgia and storytelling, keep those memories alive and let the magic of Oz continue to color your dreams.